What's up, Stat family? I told you who was coming back with another one. We got why Larry Bird was so hated. This is a live reaction. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that sub button, and comment below. Let's get it. From his uncanny ability you know? to get in the heads of his opponents, to Shaq saying that he hated him despite never playing together, here's why Larry Bird was so hated. I have to start with his insane IQ because his dominance was something to behold back in the 80s. Now, Larry wasn't naturally gifted, at least not in the sense people expect a pro athlete to be. Physically, Bird simply wasn't a match for his rivals at the time, like Jordan and Magic Johnson. But he managed to make up for all of it, like the guy was as competitive as they come. His basketball was out of this world, and his trash talking, well... That's the stuff of legends. Michael Jordan, Magic Johnson, and Isaiah Thomas all swear by Bird's ability to get inside the heads of his opponents. Skip Bayless, an American commentator who used to cover the Dallas Mavericks, shared an interesting story about Mark team. Aguirre and Bird. Team, Mark told Bayless that Larry used to terrorize him on court. Mind you, this is Mark Aguirre we're talking about. Legendary. The guy was an all-star. He was the heart and soul of that Dallas Mavericks team. Salute my team. Imagine how good Bird had to be in order to get into someone like this head. But trash talk isn't the only thing Larry had mastered. The three-time NBA champ was as good as anyone in the NBA. During his prime, he was on top of the world. The dude never finished below third in the MVP rankings. He did it for eight straight years. And on top of that, he won three straight MVP awards as well. The power forward was feared in the NBA because of his ability to hit clutch shots. He came up with them whenever it mattered the most. Not many NBA players accepted it back in the day, but not a lot of them had anything to do with the Celtics man. His dominance on the court was something that regularly wore people out. If some of the biggest stars were affected by his abilities on the court and his trash talking, one can even imagine what he did to the lesser players in the NBA. He must have been terrifying for them. Speaking of the biggest stars in the NBA, one of them's openly admitted to hating the three-time NBA champ. I'm talking about Magic Johnson, the same guy who ruled the NBA in the Larry Bird era. These two men will forever be linked in basketball history. They first met during the NCAA title game in 1979. Little did anyone know that was the start one of the NBA's greatest rivalries. But no matter how messy it got, the rivalry also helped the league in many ways. Like, these two literally changed the fate of the sport in the 80s. Back then, only two teams reached the finals. Either it was the Celtics or the Lakers. Considering the fact that Johnson played for the Lakers, well, it justifies their rivalry. The two collided with each other on three different occasions in the 80s. All of them were championship rounds. But as soon as they faced off as opponents, they became hated rivals. Magic said that at first, they didn't say anything to each other. They just stare at each other. They refused to even shake each other's hands. But after some time, Bird and Johnson buried the hatchet and started trash talking each other. Magic once openly admitted that these two hated each other at first, only because one ended with the Celtics and the other ended up with the Lakers. Johnson said that when the Celtics beat him in 1984, he started hating Larry Legend even more. But their relationship didn't stay like this forever, and they eventually became friends. The two found themselves shooting a commercial together at Bird's crib. Little did they know that day would change everything. They wrapped up the shoot and decided to grab a bite together. And that's when the magic happened. Legendary. Fun, totally intended. Over lunch, they started connecting the dots and realized they had more in common than they ever imagined. Both Midwest boys, both came from humble beginnings, and both had basketball swoop in and save their lives. Safe to say that one lunch changed everything for them. Think about it. These were the two guys who used to despise each other, locked in an intense rivalry that shook the NBA. They couldn't stand the sight of one another. But luckily, they had a change of heart, and it was good to see them become friends. I mean, Burton Johnson dominated the NBA for so long, they were the face of the league. It was about time that they made up and became friends. But Johnson wasn't the only celebrity who admitted to hating the bird. Ice Cube also had some stuff to say about the Boston legend. Now Ice Cube, 
He's the quintessential Lakers guy. I mean, he grew up in LA, so supporting the purple and gold was practically in his DNA. Especially during the 80s, when the Lakers were ruling the NBA. Goodness. He's been a loyal fan through thick and thin, establishing himself as one of the biggest celebrity supporters out there. In 2021, Cube opened up about his team's heated battles with the Boston, particularly in the 80s. And let me tell you, if you were a die-hard Lakers fan like Cube during that time, Larry Bird was like a thorn in your side, the villain of all your basketball dreams. Cube admitted that Bird was a total nightmare for him. Those sleepless nights, those shattered hopes, all because of Larry Bird. And he hated him for this. Cube just couldn't stand that guy. The hate did last for a few years, but eventually Ice realized how great Bird was. He said he began to respect the way he played for everything he did on the court and for everything he did for his team. And these days, Cube has nothing but respect for Larry Bird. He's made peace with the former Boston player, recognizing his contributions to the game. But don't get it twisted. Cube may have made peace with Bird, but he made it clear that his hatred for the Boston still lingers. And honestly, who can blame him? Rivalries run deep and they don't fade away easily. And so does some people's hate for Larry Bird. See, Bird and Bill Lambier used to each other back in the day and nothing has changed. Now Bird's always been the kind of guy who respected his rivals, except for Bill Lambier. I tell you, this was one of the nastiest rivalries in the league, which honestly is saying something. I mean, Larry alone had some pretty gnarly altercations during his time in the NBA. Take, for example, his big fight with Julius Irving. Those two were ready to throw down, hands on throat stuff. But you know what? In the end, Bird admitted he had massive respect for Dr. J. However, when it comes to Lambeer, it's a whole different story. Bird didn't hold back. He called him the dirtiest player he ever faced. And there's one incident from 1987 that perfectly captures the intensity of their feud. It all started when Lambeer took Bird down during a game. That one move lit a fire within Larry. He came back swinging and almost knocked Lambeer out cold. Thankfully, they were separated before things got out of hand. But this incident shows just how bad their relationship was. Man, it's the now. same way between <laughs> these two till this day, and I don't see it changing anytime soon. What has changed, though, is Shaq's opinion of Larry Bird. See, some while ago, the big man claimed that he hated Larry, even though he never played with him. Shaq was amazed by the fact that Bird, on the surface, seemed like an ordinary guy. He didn't have the chiseled physique or the flashy style of some other players. Still, that didn't stop Bird from pulling off incredible moves on the court. And this is what Shaq hated the most. He couldn't wrap his head around it. Every time Bird pulled off something clutch, Shaq's first thought was, ah, he just got lucky. But let's be real here, you can't rely on luck all the time, can you? As Shaq continued to watch Bird's performances, something clicked. He finally realized that it wasn't just luck, it was pure skill. And you know what? Shaq wasn't alone in this revelation. He was basically speaking for every non-NBA player at the time. They couldn't believe how good Bird was. I mean, come on. This was an era when athletic phenoms like Jordan and Magic were taking the league by storm. And then there was Larry. He was the odd one out. The guy no one thought would make it. Yet he did. And that's what made him so special. So from Shaq claiming that he hated the Boston forward, even though he never played with him, to his uncanny ability to get into the heads of his opponents. This was why Larry Bird was so hated. Larry the legend, Bird, salute. They were legendary now. They can't do nothing with Bird now. Top four, salute. You heard what Shaq said. That pure skill. Does that add to keep it a hundred? Salute. Thank y'all, Stat Fam, for watching the full video. We're going to be back with another video after this video. Make sure y'all stay prayed up. Y'all be safe. Y'all be good. You know?